Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how an IP address blocker works. Um, now, most people, some, well lots of people don't realize that you've got a couple of IP addresses on your computer, laptop, phone, whatever. Uh, you have an internal IP address, which is the one you assign to um, via router or um, access point, and you've got a public IP address. If you want to see your um, <coughs> Internal IP address is quite easy. There's a few ways of doing it, but if you start start a, a command prompt and go go to the run command and type command.com, you'll get this little black window here, uh, which is a DOS prompt, um, and you type in a command called ipconfig slash all, and you get a load of um, information. But at the top, you'll notice here. I'll just make it a bit bigger. Um, I've got an IPv4 address. That's my internal IP address. Here's mine, 192.168.1.16. Yours could very well be very similar to that. This is an internal IP address. It can't be used on the internet. It's assigned by my router. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and my router is here, 192.168.1.254. Um, it might be your wireless access point for your phone or your... Um, uh, laptop or iPad, something like that. But they're, they're internal addresses. They don't mean anything to the outside world. Uh, I can let you see that. There's no problem because millions and millions of people have probably got the same IP address. Now, to f the real important IP address is your public one. This is the one that is located, that everybody else sees, that a website sees, that allows you access to the internet, if you like. Um, there's an easy way of doing that. Just type what's my IP address into Google and Google will now show you your public. There's, there'll be loads of websites that do it, but at the top you now get your public IP addresses. I'll just mirror that one out so nobody goes uh, hacking me, but um, that's your public IP address. That's the one that um, says who you are. That's the one that the websites see when you um, go and connect to them. Right, I'm going to close that down and that one. Um, now, the important thing about that public IP address is it also um, shows where you are. It's, it's actually linked to your exact location. So I'm in the UK, and that IP address is a UK IP address. Fine. It allows me to see UK websites. and uh, But if I try and access um, lots of things on YouTube or any uh, media sites in the US or Canada or anything like that, I'm going to get blocked because they generally stop you accessing um, sites outside a specific place. So let me just go and show you uh, this. Let's just watch this. Food Network Star on Hulu. Hulu is only available to um, people in the United States. So I've got a UK IP address. I can't see it. And you can see currently our video library can only be streamed within the United States. Now there is a way to get through this and this is to, by blocking your real IP address. So blocking the website finding out your real IP address. Let's close this in Hulu. Uh, now there's a couple of ways of doing this but one of the most simplest is to use um, a specific software that does that. I use a software called Identity Cloaker which actually blocks my IP address being visible. <clears throat> it also works as a strong security program. So I've got Identity Cloaker here and I'm going to access a US only site. So um, I'm going to make a physical connection to a US server. Just finding that there's hundreds here for all over the world. But I'm going to pick a, a US one. I think it's in New Jersey. And I'm going to connect. Now, what is this going to do? It's going to actually access, it's going to basically hide my IP address. It's going to make a um, a, what's called a VPN connection, the virtual private network between me and a US server in. And all my communication will then be done through that US server. It's all encrypted, so it gives you a, an incredible amount of security that no nobody can see the websites you're visiting or what you're doing online. They normally can. They're all logged at your ISP, but using a VPN, it can't be. The other benefit is it blocks any website I visit seeing my real location. My real location is now 
the US. Okay, so I've now got a US IP address. So if I go to Hulu and go to watch one of these programs here, I should be able to see it. Like you see, you can see now it's um, you're able to access it because now the um, the website sees the VPN's IP address and not my real one. So um, I can now watch anything on Hulu. Um, if I wanted to watch something in a different country, just um, you can change it to a different country. There are hundreds there. You can change it to French, German, US, Canada, Australia, um, loads of others, um, and access uh, different media sites in different countries. Um, and that's basically because it's blocking my IP address, my real IP address, and you can only see the VPN one. Right, and that's it. So that's how you do an IP address blocker. You basically hide your real IP address and use one of either a VPN or a proxy server. It's dead easy to use. There are a few free ones around. They're, they're a bit painful to use and um, they don't last more than a few hours. But if you wanted a one-off um, usage, you could do it then. Um, it's much easier to use um, a professional piece of software and dedicated servers. They're fast and easy to use. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching my video about an IP address blocker, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Goodbye.